So sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I'm recording, so I have to start from the beginning. So you are writing a calculator, a command line calculator. The command line calculator is supposed to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, but be careful, multiplication over here is x, small x, not the asterisk. You have to translate it. Division, that is a slash. Exponential, exponentiation, that is uh, the caret thingy. So for that, you have to write a loop and keep print multiplying it to itself because there is no uh, uh, exponential, uh, uh, exponential, exponentiation in, in C language. You have to do it yourself. And modulus, where you're supposed to uh, uh, find the remainder of the division. And as you see, to print a per percent sign, you have to put two percents back to back, otherwise it won't work, right? So when the program starts, this is what you're going to see. Program starts, so my simple calculator, and it shows the command example. So first, it's a question mark. Then the first number, let's say 12.3. Then I want to add with 2.2. Then I hit enter. It shows you the result, and the tricky part is this. It draws a line under the result. So the result is bigger, line is bigger. It is exactly the same size of the result, so it underlines it. If user enters anything else, it says invalid command and prints the format of the command as was printed at the beginning. It shows, you have a question? <laughs> No, you do it manually yourself. You know how to multiply a number a few times to itself, right? Yeah, okay. It's called a loop. <laughs> okay, I'll explain that. I'll come to it. So as you see, all the numbers are received as doubles. But how about modulus or exponentiation when you're supposed to have uh, an integer over there? 2 to power 2.5, we don't know how to do it. So it's 2 to power 2 that we're going to do, right? So. If the operation is done, if the operation is done, uh, that it is, if an operation is done that as an integer is required, you cast that double to an integer. So if I say, for example, two, oh, if I say two to power, to power, three point two, this is an error because I didn't start with the question mark. I have to start with the question mark. So I have to say two to power. 3.2, it will cast that 3.2 to an integer and makes it 2 to power 3, which is going to print an 8. Got it? Okay? So I can actually say over here 2.123 to power 3.2, and it's the exact same number, but that 2, the, uh, this is point 0.2 is dropped. Okay? If the user does an impossible so if I can put over here 8 divided by 4, and I get 2. But if I say um, 8 divided by 0, then it has to say division by 0 not allowed, because it is not defined in mathematics. You can't do that. It's infinity. Pardon me? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Yeah, so division by zero is not allowed. And if I do modulus, so for example, I do 10, uh, oh, question mark 10, modulus, for example, uh, I don't know, four. If I do that, then it's going to actually give me two. And as you see, whatever the size of the output is, that's the, si the number of things that I have in there. You see that? You have the line function that does that for you. And you know that printf returns the number of characters printed. So you can draw the line accordingly with your line, OK? So reuse your line function. And when user wants to enter, all they need to do is to hit enter without anything. And that's goodbye. They go out. So how do we accomplish that? All these things are happening in a calc. So the reason that you see it keeps repeating, because every time an operation happens, calc returns 1. It means, so calc does only one operation, and that's it. If operation was successfully done, 
let's put it this way. If user did not choose to exit, it returns one. So it keeps running it. That while loop keeps going. If user just hits enter by itself, then it returns zero. So the very first thing you need to check to do is to just read one character. That's it. All you need to do is to read one character. Check to see if that character is new line or not. If it's new line, bye bye, you get out. If it's not new line, then you do your task, the switch statement and all that stuff, right? When it's not new line and you get into the if statement, then you check to see if it's a question mark or not. Okay? And if it's a question mark, fine. If it's, uh, then you uh, read one double, then you read one character, then you read one other, one, another double, and those are the parameters of your getting. I would do that with one scanf. If the scanf returns three, it means you actually received three things successfully, you're good. If scanf doesn't return three, it means something went wrong, then you get out. And always at the end of your function, when the function is over and everything is done, I'm not talking about the backslash and if it's not backslash and you're in the if statement that you're doing stuff. At the end you flush. Because no matter what, at least you have a new line left. Okay? So what you do, you get the three things, you go through them, you make your decision what you're supposed to do, you do your calculations. If you want, like for example, the uh, like five to power of something, if you think that's uh, too much of a thing to do a loop inside a switch statement, make it a function. It doesn't matter. You can make it a function and do it. You are not allowed to use math header file. Okay? I want you to do it manually by yourself. It's a very easy thing to do. Okay? Uh, and that's it. Uh, and I will put all these things in Word and add it. But now you know. <clears throat> so, uh, yes. Okay, big number, big result. So, let's say um, 23 to power um, 13. Okay, so what? I, it's more than certain thing. You got it's gonna go bananas. Remember, it overflows. I didn't ask you to to cover those things. Like if you say something to the power 50,000. It's not going to be able to handle that big number, okay? But it's just, uh, I'm just, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, and that's it. Goodbye. All right? Any questions? So remember, your calc function is only supposed to do one operation and return zero if backslash n was entered right at the beginning. Otherwise, it returns one. And you're done. Um, main, take care of the rest of it. You're not allowed to do anything in the main. <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. Yes. Question? Regarding this or that? Okay, I'll come over there. Okay, any questions about the DIY? Okay, so I'm going to actually name this in that playlist, YouTube playlist, like uh, workshop for DIY. I'm going to call it that.